Today I want to talk about ambition. Ambition is good unless it is the type of ambition that says, well, I'm going to show him or her and uh, you wish to rise above other people just to be showy. C.S. Lewis has said this, if it means the desire to get ahead of other people, then it is bad. If it simply means wanting to do a thing well, then it is good. In Proverbs 13, verse 7, it says a pretentious, showy life is an empty life. A plain and simple life is a full life. As a member of this highly competitive 21st century world, you know that the demands and the expectations of everyday living they can, at times, seem overwhelming. Keeping up with the Joneses has become a full-time job in itself. A better strategy is to stop trying to please the neighbors and to concentrate on pleasing God and pleasing your soul. When you seek through ambition, to become a better person for you and your personhood, what you can do and your purpose in life, well, then you are truly on the right path of ambition. Now, perhaps you have set your goals high. If so, I say congratulations. I want you to have goals. I want you to have big dreams and big goals because you have God with you. If you're willing to dream big dreams, that is a good thing. But as you consider your life's purpose, do not allow your quest for excellence to interfere with your spiritual journey that God has planned for you. Strive to please God first through your actions. Become godly in your thoughts and in your touch, in your words. And you welcome, on a daily basis, God into your heart. And you follow God's lead. When you have an ambition that is based on God and following God, then you will achieve the highest point that you could possibly achieve in life. All other concerns will fall into their proper perspective when you keep your eye and your heart on God.